Ooh, man, the hot topic. And these boxes are jumping in price. Um, yeah, I saw them started out on eBay. Hey, everyone, Joy Moss, uh, Bad Boy Gaming. I saw these on eBay for um, a good old, what was it, one, uh, about 100 bucks um, before the release. That's right, about $100. This knife is dull. About 100 bucks. And already, the lowest price at this very moment in time, as I checked right before this video, $119.99 plus tax. These are jumping. These are really moving and grooving, man. Now, it's going to be hard to say what the value is going to hold on uh, a lot of these cards. But one thing I am doing this time around is I am adjusting prices to meet uh, the market. Like, if a card's like the market value, like, because there's a lot of hype around the beginning. Really quick, though, this is for Andrew Alexander. Andrew Alexander, good luck to you, sir. But one thing I'm doing with the prices this time around. I'm not just um, going by TCG market player price uh, or market player price. I'm going by, uh, I I'm trying to meet the market. Okay. So if the card's like five bucks and I see people are selling them at three something, you know, if the market value is five and I see on TCG player, they're selling them at three twenty five, I'll meet it in the middle. Does that make sense? Okay, cool. Well, that's kind of, that's what I'm doing with the majority of the prices. Oust, we're starting out with Oust. So that way there's not like a huge like, wow, my card just dropped 30% in one week, you know? So that doesn't really happen. Starting out with Oust. <clears throat> good luck to you, Mr. Alexander. May the gods of magic forever be on your side, my good sir. Oust might even be worth something. I don't know. Got to figure it out. All right, let's just uh, blaze through this, shall we? Let's go. Vraska's Finisher. Street Wrath, wow, already off to a good little start there, man. Street Wrath holds a nice little value. I don't know if you guys saw the other two videos, but holy smothering tithe, man. We were pulling value left and right. I'm very curious, again, to see... Oh, hi, Rao. I'm very curious to see... Oh, it's Haro. My bow's way off. I'm very curious to see if uh, the price on this box can match the other ones. The other ones were over $300 a box. One over 400 I mean, that's that's insane for a new product that's selling for only 100 bucks. Wargate. There you go. Is that some kind of scandal? I have no idea. Search your library for a permanent card with converted mana cost X or less. Put it, in the battle, put it into play, then shelf your library. There you go. A little banty action for you. A crone horse. Got two rares in this first pack. A crone horse and a Maradin's core. What is that all about? Put a charge counter on it. Move a charge counter for me. That's kind of cool. I'm not sure the value on that, but it is a uh, it is a foil nonetheless. That's what we got. And the foils are not too shiny in this one. They're kind of dull. I'm not going to lie. They are kind of dull in this set. Not too crazy dull, but just dull enough. Soul Summons, starting things out. I will include any value over, uh, over, over a dollar. If it's over a buck, it's making the video. There you have it. Over a buck, it's making the video. Spire Monitor. And we have Tormentor, Mr. Whisper, Wormy. Yeah, um, I told patrons the other day, um, just yesterday, get on these boxes. If you could buy them for, uh, you know, 105 bucks, 110 bucks, get them, get them. And before I knew it, they were all sold out on eBay for under 110 bucks. I know my patrons uh, purchased up quite a few of those. Um, and actually, I went on there and purchased some myself. Uh, spy kit, bada bing, there you go, got the old spy kit. Thank you. Oh, what is this guy? Goblin game. Haru. That's a whole lot of stuff going on there. <laughs> Andrew. I'm not sure the value on this card, but it looks like it could be fun. There's a whole lot of is there coin flips in here. All types of stuff. Yeah, things are going on. Marin of Clan Marinoff. That card just looks sweet. I love the art on that one. Not sure the value on this one, but I'm sure it's not too bad. I'm sure it's not too bad. That goblin game might be worth a pretty penny, too. So we got Marin of Clan Neltoff. Whenever another creature you control dies, you get an experience counter at the beginning of your end step. Choose target creature card in your graveyard. If that card's converted mana cost is less than or equal to the number of experience counters you have, turn to the battlefield. Otherwise, put it in your hand. That could be pretty busted. <laughs> another Sarkhan of the Mad. Bada, bada, bing. There you go, baby. These are seen a little bit off center, though. I don't know if you guys are seeing this. Get a little chippy here. But yeah, um, definitely off-center on these cards. Uh, not too bad, you know. Not to the point where it's a crazy misprint or anything. But we did pull Starcan the Mad, the only foil um, Planeswalker in the whole box. There you go. Darren Skyjack. That's weird. We'll take it. Mr. Humble. The old logic again. 
Walk the Plank. Great removal. Destroy target non-Merfolk creature. As long as you're not up against Merfolks, you're good to go for two. Kill them, baby. Kill them softly. <clears throat> Spark Spitter. Got one of these. Rage Prey Upon. I'm going to try to redeem myself. Story time was a little rough last video. Not going to lie. We're going to try to bake, make it a little better, though. Corpse Jack Menace. How are you? How are you? How are you? Mask of Memory. Bada bang. That could be worth a few pretty pennies. Some of these uncommon artifacts from uh, Commander are really holding some crazy value. Flame Shots. Man, I like seeing the older stuff mixed in. Great idea by Wizards of the Coast. I hope you guys had a chance to get in on this. I don't know what the print run's going to be on these things. Hopefully um, nothing too ridiculous. Uh, so these cards don't just bottom out in price. But, you know, that's... That's something uh, time will tell. Whelming Wave and... P Ooh, that's my first common foil. I feel special. There you go. Andrew Alexander, I think you pulled our first common foil. Hooray. Andrew's like, I hate this box. <laughs> Andrew, hang in there, fella. It's not over yet, my friend. It's not over yet. All right. Dragon's Presence. I'm really pulling for you. Get it? That was a fun pun, huh? Foil. I have pulled a foil foil before. It's true. The Helix Anoint. Ooh, didn't expect to see that in here already, but there it is. Uh, Lacerator. That dude's doing stuff, huh? Miss Falconrath Reaver. All right. Let's try to pick things up here, see what we can get. Vegetation. Explosive at that. Watch out. Watch out. The old uh, Despicable. Flare Husk. And we got a Greater Gargadon. Suspend for 10. Holy smoke. Suspend 10 in a red... Sacrifice an artifact creature or land, remove a time counter from Greater Gargadon, activate this ability only if Greater Gargadon is suspended. 9-7. Interesting. Black Market, a little bit of value. We're going to take it, baby. Cool card right there. Not bad. And a Proclamation of Rebirth. Whew, that foil looks a little better than the norm. There you go. whole lot of things going on there with Proclamation of Rebirth. Not bad. All right, guys. He, uh, I'm sorry, Andrew, Andrew Alexander, looks like you're off to a little sluggish start here. Um, I don't know how slow, but hopefully we pick things up here for you. Fiend Hunter, that's right. Fanatic Search, we're searching for something really good. Cabal Therapy, legit card right there from Eternal Masters. And we have Urborg the Undying, Emissary, Roar of the Worm, Squirmy Wormy, that's right. I never got that pizza yesterday, guys. Mm -mm. I think I'm going to get it today. Me and the boy are going to get some pizza. No, not the baby. <laughs> not the baby. Although he'll be accompanying us. But uh, no, not not the babes. <laughs> we have a Kazandu Refugee. Favorite pizza. What's my favorite pizza? Oh, ooh, and the Embrace. You control Enchanted Creature. Enchanted Creature gets plus two, plus two, and has Trample. That's pretty cool. Not even gaining control of it. You just control it. Weird. Night Howler. Got some bulkage right there. Hot dogs. Hot dogs. And Geth Grimoire. Grimoire. Grim we can talk today, huh? Never can we. Whenever an opponent discards a card from his or her hand, you may draw a card. Legit. Um, that could be out of control, for sure. That could really get out of control. But yeah, favorite pizza? I like the Hawaiian, man. What do you guys like? What's like a pizza that you would... Or what are your toppings you want on it? And I was saying yesterday in the video, people are hating on my pineapples. I don't get it, man. Don't hate on the pineapples, guys. All right, they're just pineapples. They didn't do nothing to you. Willow of the Wisp. That's some stuff. Chandra's Pyrohelix. Rolling Thunder. I feel, I feel like that could be like a game in an arcade or something. Uh, Blastoderm. There you go. Nurturing the Oracle. From 2017, Modern Masters. Rona's Monument. Yeah, they really did print this sucker again, huh? I guess it needed it. I mean, yeah, she's a lot of play. It's the best one of the whole set. Riff the Awakener. Got yourself a dragon, my friend. I love myself, dragons. Riff the Awakener. Cool card. And Champion of the Parish. The old one drop of rue. Whenever another human enters a battlefield under your control, put a plus one, plus one counter on Champion of the Parish. All right. It's a good card. And Rooks. He's a beast. You may have rocks deal as combat damage to defending player as though it weren't blocking. Regenerate rocks. Five, five. Not too bad, my friend. Not too bad at all. That's from um, that one set. That's all I'm saying. There you go. I, I hope I uh, informed you guys enough on today's video that this card is from a set. I, I hope we're doing good here. Shipwreck Looter. Mm, yeah. There you go. Shipwreck Looter. Dragon. The old bucks. Some ravings. And Umbra. The wings. Warden of the Eye. What's going on there? 
You look like you could have been in a, like a Pixar film or something, huh? There you go. Sky Scanner and Tinker. Tinker. Not a bad pool from Urza's Legacy. Hello, Tinker. Love that blue. I wish they still had the blue that way. I remember when they changed it. I was not happy about that. Oh, Grave Trawler. One of my top five favorite zombies of all time. Because this sucker is pesky. Hard to deal with. Annoying as all heck. Unless you exile this thing, it just keeps on coming back for more, baby. And we have wear and tear for our foil. We all wanted that. That's exactly what we were looking for. All right, this might be one of those boxes that's a complete dud. Uh, Andrew, I hate to say that. Maybe not a dud, but it's just not looking too hot, you know? And I hope that's not the case. But, uh, yeah, stick around. Let's find out because, I mean, oof, I haven't seen too many bad boxes yet. Uh, the first two were just dynamite. Uh, Fatal Push, cool. I forgot that was even a reprint in here. At one point, that was 10 bucks a card. Pretty nasty. Pretty nasty indeed. Charging Monstrosaur. There you go. Cool card. Nighty Hunt. Curse of the Night... I don't know why I think that's that's funny. Nightly Hunt. I don't, know, I don't ask why that made me laugh, though. Con Consecrator. There you go. The old warp. Ooh, Cold Steel Heart. Do you have a cold heart, guys? Are your veins running blue? Oh, that's sad. Uh, we have a bear cub. <laughs> yeah, I scared you, didn't I? Yep, yep, I got him. I got him. Bear cub's a good little pool, though. Chaos Warp. We'll put that in the uncommon, but I think it's a common. Chaos Warp. Cool card. And Korath Knight. I love finding out the value on these cards, but right now I'm seeing a pattern. A lot of common and uncommon foils in this one. I am seeing the pattern. I think, uh, have we found a pattern yet? Have we found the pattern? Andrew's like, I really hope that's not a pattern. All right, because we've got the zone. Some of this, some of that. The guide. That's right. Reassembling skeleton. Followed by a minotaur. Bombard. Ooh, All right, that was fun, huh? Sulfurous Blast. We'll take it. Beast Breaker of Balagad. All right, so nothing too crazy here. Lightning Helix works a few pennies right there. Nice. Ashnod's Altar. That's a little ring banger hummelinger. All right. Ashnod's Altar. Got the uncommon. Great card. Sacrifice creature. Add two to your mana pool. Not bad at all. Cargan, Dragon Lord. Bada bang. All right. So the value's coming back. That's right. That's right. We're getting it for you, Andrew. We're getting it for you. And misdirection. Ooh. Ooh, yikes. There you go. Change the target of target spell with a single target. That could get kind of crazy right there. It could get kind of crazy. Codex Shredder. Foilage, baby. Another uncommon. Are you seeing this? It's nuts. Um, this could be the pattern, guys. I don't know. I mean, we've only pulled... Let me see how many rares or mythic foils so far. One, two, three. Okay, three. But usually we have more rares and mythics than we have uncommon or common. So I don't know. I don't know, man. The shuffler's broke. We all know that. Go Arena. If you honestly think the sh uh, the Shuffler on Magic the Gathering Arena is broke, I'd like to hear from you. I really would. State your business below. I think there's something wrong with it, but I think they also made some corrections to it recently. That's just my opinion. That's just me. Curse of Opulence. That guy is so baffled. He's like, oh, I got money, but you can stop taking it from me. Curse to be rich. I guess so. We always want what we don't have. I'm still looking for a bag of gold or a leprechaun or something. You know, whatever I can get my hands on, really, I'll take it. Thornsgate Battle Mage, bada bang. Look at that nasty little ram dingling, huh? All right, hoopo. There you go. Alloy, the mirror. That's right. Ancient Den, Artifact Lands. These Artifact Lands, man, and until they were banned, they were worth a pretty penny. I'm not sure how long they took to get banned, but probably not long. Talrin Sky Summoner did not need a reprint, but it did get one. Echoing Decay. Yeah, this is a pattern. Target, um, yeah, you either get one with Mythics and Rare Foils, or you get one with a bunch of Uncommons and Commons. But there is some value, nonetheless, in the Common slot for the Foils. I'm not sure how much. Uh, total value, I mean, wow. Oof, yikes. We are seeing uh, the variant right now. We are seeing a variant. De uh, discerning. Discer there you go. Discerning. The old discerner. And, uh, yeah, the printer's a little off on all this. I'm not going to lie. 
Blow your house down. And I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll loot your house down. Steal everything from it? No. Ren's Vanquisher. All right. Might of the Masses. Bear's Companion. There you go. That goes with our little bear friend over there. How do you? Consolute Dreadnought. Little vehicle. Vehicles. I wish they'd make some good ones. Karen Wanderer. Cool card right there. The old Chang Gang. Bada bada bang. Fun card. Epic art on that one. Need I say more? Aliens! That's right. You were all waiting for it. Boom pile. Flip a coin. If you win the flip, destroy all nine land permanents. That is legit. And a sheltering ancient. Whoa, the pattern is real. Now, I can't call it a pattern because we haven't seen too many examples. This is true. Kumi to upkeep is pretty crazy. I love the art on that one, though. That is really neat. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm no dummy. You know, I'm no rusty box of nails. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm pretty spit shined, you know, and, and uh, good to go. And I'd have to say, yeah, there's rare and mythic foil boxes, and then there's uncommon and common foil boxes, because, uh, yeah, they're really throwing them on us right now. All right, we got the Sprinter and some blood. Mantle of Webs. I'm excited to play some magic today, if I can get a little break. Maybe I'll have Jax appear in a video. What do you guys think? Goblin Death Raiders. If you want to see the old baby, that's right, I got a six-month-old. If you want to see him appear in a video with me, I can make it happen, Captain. It'll squirmy wormy. He'll throw up all our plans. Pretty cool. Torch, Mirage, bada bing. What else? Urza's Rage. Yeah, I wish you were worth something, but you're just a poopy, man. Good old cabbage there. There you go. Urza's Rage. Cool to see Urza nonetheless, but. Gorilla Tactics. Man, the pattern's real. There you go. Deals two damage to target creature or player. When a uh, spell or ability an opponent controls causes you to discard Gorilla Tactics, Gorilla Tactics deals four damage to target creature or player. Bada bing. Um, I'd say we're about halfway through, guys. About halfway through. And that pineapple pizza sounds delicious. Not gonna lie. Got the cleric. Um, I did go out and purchase two more of these boxes after I seen the first two, and they were just stupid. Uh, I'm like, I gotta get me some boxes for sure. And uh, if you guys have been pulling these, let me know. Let me hear the bragging rights. Dragon Fighter's a cool card. What's uh, what's the best card you pulled so far, or what are you hoping to pull? Because I know like everyone's about to start cracking these puppies open. It's about to go down. Soul manipulation, cool. Icy Manipulator goes way back. I think Ice Age was the first set that had Icy, Icy Manipulator. I could be mistaken. Shrouded Lore. Cool art on that one, too. Cool art on that one. Eureka. Not bad. A little bit of value. Like five, six bucks. We'll take it. Eureka. Legit sauce. Good stuff. And Sanu Sliver. All, slivers, all Sliver creatures get plus one, plus one. Not bad. That's Plane Shift, if I'm not mistaken. Wow. Cool card there. Nice, uh, nice foil. That one looks really sharp. I like it. Andrew, I'm keeping that one. <laughs> just jerking your chain. But I would. I would like to. No, I'm just I'm kidding. Kidding. Well, maybe I'm not. All right, we got the Raiders. Uh, Serpent. One of these. The Getaway. Pyrotechnics. Good stuff. Death by Dragons. Put this way up here. Death by Dragons. Each player other than... <laughs> Crikey. Crikey, mate. Domesticated Hydra again. The Impulse. Corpse. We got the old corpse. There you go. Favorite scary movie. It's not Mishra's Bobble, that's for sure. But that's some value right there. Man, this box is really loaded with common and uncommon value for sure. Aura Shards. Legit again. Whenever a creature enters uh, under your control, you may destroy target artifact or enchantment. That's a good uncommon, man. That's a really good uncommon. Got the Augury. Make it old Augury. There you go. So misprint silver action. Augury, there you go. And frozen aether. Bada bing. Frozen aether. Artifacts, creatures, and lands your opponent's control come into play tapped. Bam. Alright, still trucking, baby. Still trucking. If you're still with me right now, leave a comment. All right. Apostle's blessing. Leave a like in the comments. There you go. Argument. Despair. Arguments are terrible. Try not to get into too many of them. You waste time doing that. Husk, Child of Night, the Rager, the Wave, the Brawler, the Boar, the Hoplite. All right. Blasted Landscape. Mm-hmm. It's like when I go and uh, use a razor below, you know? It's a blasted landscape. What the is that? We have uh, a questing Felidargariff. That sounds like something out of a Harry Potter film, you know? Whoa, a whole lot of things going on here. Flying until end of turn, target opponent may draw a card... 
Gains protection from black and from red until end of turn. Target mode gains two life. Bunch of plus one, plus ones, and one, one creatures. Wow. Whole lot of stuff going on in that card. Mindspring, Drox cards. There you go. That could be cool. Imagine if that was legal and standard. Game over. There you have it. That would be, that'd be game over. Uh, Panglacial Worm. Trample. While you're searching your library, you may play Panglacial Worm from your library. It's a 9-5. If that thing had haste, mighty, mighty worth it. It would be mighty, mighty worth it. All right, we got about seven packs to crack, pal. Maybe more than that, even. Wing Shards. One of these. Chart of Course. Welcome in the house. There you go. Come on, Andrew. Let's see something really good. I got a feeling. I got a feeling. Ooh. She's locked up in jail. She's not getting out because she's crazy. That tonight's going to be a vengeful night. Oh, Campaign of Vengeance. Nice card. Nice pool. Goblin Burrows. Cool card right there. It'll get the old feathers ruffled, my friends. Got the Shrieker. I, I could have got crazy on that one. Like, yeah! But we didn't do that, did we? Misform Shrieker. All up in it. Ooh, that's not a good card right there. But it's rare. And Soul's Attendant. Bada, bada, bang. Look how off-center that is. Maybe you can pull some crazy mis, uh, miscut or something, man. That might be your best bet out of this. I'm not going to lie. My heart goes out to you. Like Celine Dion. You know? I feel like... I, f I feel... I feel you, man. Falconer. In weird ways, too. All right. Merfolk. Come on, God. Come on, Shane. Come on. Help out our friend Andrew. He needs he needs a break. Well, which is a great card, though. He needs a break from reality. Farseek. That might be something. Maybe. Could be. Esper Charm. Esper is just a fun name. Go ahead and say it. Say it with me now. Swift Water Cliffs. Angelic Destiny. Four drop. Enchanted Creature gets plus four plus four. Is flying at first strike and is an angel. When Enchanted Creature dies, return Angelic Destiny to its owner's hand. Powerful card. Blends you up right there. Nin the Pain Artist. <sighs> yeah. Gleeful Sabotage. Wow. So this is definitely a pattern. So you can go boom or bust. I mean, we're going to add up all the value nonetheless and find out. But right now, it is not looking too darn hot, guys. This box, if I had to guess the value right now, I'd say we're at about like 110 maybe. Maybe 120. If that. I mean, probably less than that. Who knows? All right. Covenant of Blood. One of these. The old Shattering Spree. With Replicate. Destroy Target Artifact. Dragon Whelp. Been around since early days. Got ourselves a plummet. Explore. Tithe Drinker. Lifelink and Extort. Watch out. Ooh, Skull Clamp. Cool little uh, uncommon there. Great powerful card. Thing should have been banned. Oh, I haven't seen that in forever. Energy Field. Love the art. Urza Saga. Welcome. Welcome, my friends. Welcome. A Crone Horse yet again. <coughs> Excuse me. And Goblin Bushwhacker. That's a fun name, huh? The old whacking in the bushes, guys. Got the foliage there. Not bad. All right. Six packs to crack, pal. Andrew, this is a... Uh... <sighs> this is the Tom Green Show. This is my favorite show because it is my show. Welcome to the Tom Green Show. Anybody? No? Just me? I'm the only, I, I'm the only one that watched that? All right, whatever. Whatever, guys. All right, whatever. Got the uh, Bajuka Bog. Really cool card. Really, really cool card. Great sideboardage. Enchanted Evening. All permanents are enchantments in addition to their other types. What I would give for one of those. Mm, not bad. Reality Scramble. That's like my brain sometimes. That's right. There you go. Reality Scramble. And a Drog Skull Captain. Not bad. But the pattern is real. I mean, so far, the uncommon and common foils, or you get... The rare and mythic foil box. <laughs> well, that is scary. All right, moving along. We got the Fildren Guardian. Laboratory Maniac bringing in some pennies. All right, Pirates, Sluggo, Stinger, Shrieker, Armor, Elvish Warrior. Cool, cool, man. Abzan Guide, the Oracle, Bloom Tender, Boom! And it's a misprint. It is a misprint. We got some stuff on it. 
Get a load at that F right there. That is not coming off. We got a, a tiny little misprint on a very uh, expensive card. <laughs> Holy crap. Tiny misprint. It's on the F. You guys see that? Yeah, you do. Clear as day. That's probably a $100 card now. There you have it. Whoa. <laughs> nice. Nice pool. We'll put that over here. It's a tiny misprint, though, so I'm not sure how much value. Wheel of Fate, another cool card. And Trailblazer's Boots Foil. Bada, bada, bang. There you go, man. Nice value. Um, yeah, I would have to say that uh, this Bloom Tender is worth a pretty penny, guy. That's a misprint bloomy. Watch out. Ooh, I got to pause. I'll stop right here. And we're back. Hooray. Focused? Good. All right. Let's keep it going, baby. Let's keep it going. Got the light, a gift, the old healer. I, was, I called that, though. I said we'd get some kind of misprint. That was a tiny one, but on a really pricey card. So, uh, yeah, let me know the outcome of that or what someone would be willing to pay for something like that. Just curious. Um, I'm sure my friend here is, too, Andrew. All right, Goblin Balloon Brigade. Cool. It is a tiny misprint. It's nothing crazy, So, but nonetheless, it's a misprint. We got a Golem. The Reserves from Weatherlight. And Cranko Mob Boss. Great card. Can't go wrong with a Cranko Mob Boss. Not bad. Ravenous Trap. It's all a trap, I'll tell you that much. Ah, if an opponent had three or more cards, do stuff. That's not bad. That's pretty cool. You get to do stuff with that one. All right, come on. Really, guys? This is, um. I mean, hey, that Bloom Tender could really make them. You know? I mean, that little misprint might be worth 50, 60, 70, 80. Who knows? Or it could be worth, you know, nothing. No, people will pay for that. I guarantee you people will pay for that. Um, at least, like, an additional 10 20%. That's just how these misprint things go. Gifted Aetherborn. Bada bing. The Wolves, the Hammer. Fall of the Hammer. Savage Punch. Right in the gullet. Cobra. Courage. Gotta have the unflinching courage sometimes. There you go. Aether Spellbomb. Legit. And we got a Magipie. A Magpie. All right. From Urza's Destiny. Haven't seen that yet. Coat of Arms. Great card. Got the old reprint. Not bad. Coat of Arms. Pretty good card. And Not of This World Foil. Wow. All right. So there you go. We are down to two packs. What's he got, guys and gals? What's it going to be? We're all rooting for you, pal. Cast out. Bada boom. Cast out right there. What was the time? That was two bucks. What was the time? Spy. Swine. Sergeant. Growth. Ooh, the Moss Beast. This could be a sign. This is probably a sign. It's going to be a really good pack. Ooh, Reflector Mage starting out good. Reflector Mage starting out good. I moved that like it was a foil. Thron Golem. It's a nice little reprint. It's like, uh, what's his name? Um, yeah, the dude. Uh, Karn, he's like all up in there. Uh, recoup. All right, all right. Okay, okay. Tapped with Discovery. All right, all right. What do we got in the last one? Jeff, you know what? At least you got yourself a foil rare. All right, there you go. That was a mercy bell. I do apologize. All right, I do apologize. All right, come on. This is the last box. Well, for a few days anyway. Still got another box. We're gonna do a battle. Make sure you guys stick around for that. The next time you see me cracking a box, it's gonna be a box battle. It'll be after this weekend sometime. We're going to have two patrons. They're going to split the box down the middle. And uh, whoever has more value is going to take all the cards. These guys are crazy. I know. Vengeful Rebirth. Jungle Shrine. Bada boosh. And Guided Passage. What's our last card? It better be something just ridiculous. Black Market again. That was kind of weird, but that's a, still a good pull. It's like five, six bucks. Black Market. And Mage Rite Stone. Is that, a, that is an uncommon tap target creature that has an activated ability with tap and the cost. All right, so that wraps it all up. Oh man, what do you guys think of that? Yikes! I don't know. I don't know what to make of all this. I did have fun though. Uh, appreciate you guys tuning in, and uh, also shout out to these to these players right here. Shout out to my ninjas. Uh, thank you everyone for whether you're a patron um, or whether you're a member of the channel. You guys are greatly appreciated. And Andrew. Sometimes that's the way the cookie crumbles, pal. Stink. I want you to release a little anger For everyone who's come between Everything